Hello, for my art assignment, I decided to go with option one in identifying and researching inspirational advocate slash artists model um, who are dedicated to solving issues for climate change. This individual in particular uh, is indigenous um, and they, they are in the modeling industry. So they've been covered by Vogue, um, walked like model runways and and in the indigenous community they are very well known they are also climate change advocates uh, we've seen well much of their presence has been seen like at the front line uh, especially in the that oil pipeline that happened in South Dakota and they've and they very much been an advocate for the Arctic Wildlife uh, National Refuge and, you know, have talked about and cited that there shouldn't be any drilling in Alaska regardless. But yeah, this individual is Quehanna Chasing Horse. Um, she, she is part uh, Ogala Sioux, Ogallala Lakota uh, from her dad's side and Han Wichan from her mother's side, a, a village in Alaska. But yeah, Quehanna Chasing Horse uses her platform to, um, as a model herself to educate others about, you know, the indigenous culture and, you know, also about her environmental activism. She's a member of the international Guichin Youth Council and uh, also a part of like a steering committee and the Alaska Wilderness League. Other notable things, she was named Woman of the Year by USA Today. In 2020, she's made Teen Vogue's Top 21 Under 21. I think Quay Hanna showed an interest in her modeling career early on when her mother took a job in Mongolia teaching English and her mother would find her in front of like, like these small TVs that showed these um, models in runways and she aspired to be one growing up so eventually she became a model and she's walked for well-known brands chanel chloe gucci but she's also provided like a, a, a platform for other indigenous artists by wearing what they have and modeling what they own or what they created and just recently she also has a new documentary out um, called Walking Two Worlds that has been supported by uh, North Face. As a climate activist, again, she spoke out against the Arctic uh, National Wildlife Refuge. She's protested the drilling in that area. And also, um, she also, her mother and grandmother are also climate activists. And uh, she knew growing up that her role to the land and water uh, would influence and help her and help her speak up, you know, to all the climate injustices that we see in the world today. And I think as indigenous people or people of indigenous background, um, the fact that we are connected to the environment and earth itself and have been like land stewards, uh, it, we see and are connected to the land and when it changes abruptly like over time especially from where i come from i've experienced firsthand the type of climate change that is happening back at my house my home where there have been because of drought and like water water crisis um, much of the vegetation from when i was growing up is being lost but yeah uh going back to quahanna's film she hopes that people understand not just where she comes from, but how threatened her home and her culture are. Uh, and she hopes that, you know, where in the film it says when she's walking through the buried stands of trees near uh, a fish camp, uh, the result of a wildfire. Those are just one of the many things that because of climate change, it has affected the way people live, what they do, how they and while ultimately affecting our cultures and traditions down the line.